Hey what's up coders welcome to one little coder in this table diffusion tutorial we're going to learn how to create very realistic portraits of human beings just like this all credit goes to tom likes robots the twitter channel twitter account that you see right now who very kindly shared the prompt and also the negative prompts that has helped me in making this video so please go follow tom and then give a shout out to tom for this amazing work so if you want to create images that look like this or images that look like this or this then this tutorial is going to teach you exactly how to do it and it is very simple you can see you can see some other you know images that people have created it's quite simple very elegant very simple workflow and we will be able to create beautiful portraits of people of different ethnicity just using stable diffusion 2.0 for this tutorial you need stable diffusion 2.0 and for that i'm using a google collab from kunash so thanks to kunash for the ui that helps me run stable diffusion on a free version of google collab with certain parameters that i can control first we have got the stable diffusion 2 2.0 ui version which uses the 768 v ema ckpt model and then i've got certain features like you know i can add the prompt i can add negative prompt it is also using the dpm scheduler by default so you don't have to keep on changing the scheduler so for now what we have to do is we have to give the prompt the prompt in this case is a close up studio portrait film detail studio lighting and you can have negative prompts so before i have negative prompts i want to show you the power of negative prompts in stable diffusion 2 unlike the previous version of stable diffusion negative prompts play a very important role in the stable diffusion version and a lot of people have been complaining that they don't get good images on stable diffusion primarily because they are not using negative prompts effectively so let us first start with this so i'm going to say close up studio portrait of a old chinese grandpa grandpa and i'm going to generate this when i generate this you would probably see it it, it usually takes um, 16 seconds or 16 to 18 seconds on the free version of google collab like i said i'm running this on a free version of google collab you can see my settings right now i'm on 25 steps um i might i might increase uh, it to 30 steps um in the future but you can see the picture so um, this is on 25 steps let's see if i increase it to 30 steps what kind of difference it makes so it's going to take 18 seconds and you can see what kind of image that we get even the first image that we got is not really good it uh, it was very blurry it was not um, up to what tom had posted on twitter and i i'm going to explain you the reason um so when we get this image so this is the image the the new image this is a new image that we have got it's good but it is not very perfect like sometimes people might say it's not great and all those things the reason is because when you just use a prompt stable diffusion 2.0 may not work at its best so it's very important for you to couple this with negative prompts now let's go add some negative prompts a prompts like disfigured cartoon blurry so what we are doing here is we are asking stable diffusion 2.0 to create images with this and we are telling stable diffusion to create images without this so if you are familiar with set theory um if you have ever studied set so these are like your a complement and if you are familiar with the negative prompts you don't need any more details about what is this so when you give this stable diffusion is going to create image without these characteristics now let's create this once we create this now you are going to actually notice a huge shift in the way images are created maybe the first time it's going to be terrible um so i don't want to hype it up but you would actually notice a huge shift in the quality of images created and there are certain images that i have created so let's see this is going to refresh let's wait for it to refresh so this is this is the image this is one of the images that we have got i want to quickly show you the kind of images that i have created this is one of the images that i created with using very simple prompt and this is another image So for example now I can say close up portrait of a chinese college student college girl and then I can give so again the idea here is that you give enough attributes um, about the image that you want for example here I'm saying chinese is the ethnicity that I want I want the girl to be young so I want to specify that I want a college girl so that the algorithm a stable diffusion doesn't get confused with the school girl you know much younger girl and you can see this can, like if you see this is a 768 by 768 image 
and this is truly amazing like if you see for a portrait this is truly amazing the kind of details that you see the hair um the lips the eyebrows and just simply using a very simple prompt we managed to create this so if you if you want like colorful just make sure that you know colored close up and then try this again you can try different iterations of the same image because you're going to get every time same because we are using a random seed so every time we're going to get a different image and then you can see what works fine for you what doesn't work fine for you and you can probably fine tune it based on that so i've got a new one um again like you see, you can see that this is this is not a perfect example and reiterate it again again create it so it's the same prompt colored close up studio portrait of a chinese college girl film detail studio lighting then you can start adding prompts um you know uh, like cinematic and other aspects important attributes okay this this is this is actually beautiful like i can say um new and it looks good so only thing that you would see is you know the eyes are actually pretty um asymmetrical so what i did also as an experiment is i thought of saying you know what i'm going to say symmetrical eyes with symmetrical eyes and instead of saying chinese college girl i'm going to just say college girl and then i'm going to generate so i have had some luck in specifying symmetrical eyes at some time uh, but it is very uh, inconsistent so it's not always producing the result that i want i want to just highlight it but sometimes mentioning explicitly that symmetrical eyes have helped me generate good results like you can see the eyes are symmetrical here the color of the eyes the eyeballs everything looks symmetrical here but sometimes in typically in stable diffusion images you would see the eyes are asymmetrical so if you want to avoid that this is another very good way to avoid that by specifying symmetrical eyes but again you know it depends and like i said it is not very consistent so this is one of the easiest way like you can say colored close up um studio portrait of a college girl with symmetrical eyes then i was also told that it works very well with um, um black in black people's images so that's another thing that you can see um the images that tom had shared shared even you can you can see that for black people it works fine i don't know if anybody has given an example but um but yeah so that's that's something that people have also noticed um, in the past so you can see the in this case eyes are not very symmetrical but the details of the image is really good the skin tone is really sharp and this is just you know 30 steps guidance scale is 7.5 you can also iterate on it and then see how you can produce better images um, and again like most of the times when you generate images from stable diffusion it could be like people are angry people are very serious so you can add negative prompts like sad sadness is a negative prompt you can add so that you know you can try to see if you can generate happy smiling images so one way to do that is actually adding happiness or a smiling in the prompt in itself but the better way to do that at least for me what has worked is you give that as a negative prompt so that can give you so it's not perfectly smiling but again you can see the kind of details that you have got um again i like the eyeballs here than just simply getting any eyeballs but again the images are very detailed very beautiful and you can use you can actually use this as a very high quality image for um, for a, you know like modeling or whatever purpose that you want to use it's very detailed and um, and yeah it's it's a very simple prompt once again thank you uh, thank you to tom uh, who made this possible tom likes robots who kindly shared the workflow with us um so give a shout out to tom but otherwise i'll share um how to do this um on the 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 google collab i'll share the google collab in the youtube description you can check it out the google collab is actually by a n z o r q so give a shout out to a n z o r q and also support them if um, you like their work if you want their work to be improved but if not if you have any feedback for me let me know in the comment section otherwise i would love to see what kind of images that you generated like for me this is one of the best images that i have generated using the simple prompt multiple iterations trying different values if you have got anything like that let me know tag me on uh, twitter and then let me know um, but i would love to see what you have created how this tutorial or this workflow has helped you in creating realistic human portraits using sable diffusion 2.0 see you in the next video happy prompting